Max Learns the Secret to Making Friends by Gia L. You can find this book on Amazon, link in the description. Once there was a little monkey named Max who lived in a big forest. Max was a friendly monkey, but he had no friends. Every day he would wander around the forest, hoping to meet someone to play with, but he never did. One day, Max decided that he had had enough of being alone. He set out to make some friends, but he didn't know where to start. He tried talking to a group of squirrels, but they were too busy gathering nuts to chat. He tried to play with a family of rabbits, but they were too scared of him to come close. Max even tried to befriend a flock of birds, but they just flew away when he approached them. Feeling discouraged, Max sat down on a rock. Why doesn't anyone want to be my friend? He thought to himself. Am I not fun enough? Am I too loud? Just then, Max heard a rustling in the bushes. He looked up to see a small hedgehog peeking out. Hi there, said Max, trying to sound friendly. My name is Max. What's yours? The hedgehog didn't answer, but he didn't run away either. Max took that as a good sign and continued to talk. I've been looking for a friend for a long time. Do you want to play with me? The hedgehog thought for a moment and then nodded its head. Max was overjoyed. He had finally made a friend. He and the hedgehog spent the whole day playing together, climbing trees and collecting berries. I'm so glad I met you, said Max. I've been trying to make friends for a long time, but nobody wants to play with me. Max started to cry. The hedgehog looked at him sympathetically. I know how you feel, he said. I used to be lonely too, but then I realized that maybe I was trying too hard. Sometimes the best way to make friends is to just be yourself and let people come to you. Max thought about what the hedgehog had said. I guess you're right, he said. Maybe I've been trying too hard to impress people, but it's hard when you really want to make friends. I know, said the hedgehog, but you just have to keep trying. Eventually, you'll find someone who likes you for who you are. Max smiled. Thanks for being my friend. I'm really glad we met. The hedgehog smiled back. Me too. Just then, Max had an idea. I know. Let's play a game. I'll climb up this tree, and you try to catch me as I jump down. The hedgehog looked a little unsure, but he nodded his head and agreed to play. Max scampered up the tree, and when he was at the top, he yelled, Ready, set, go! He leaped off the branch, and the hedgehog tried to catch him. But Max was too quick and agile, and he managed to dodge the hedgehog's grasp every time. The hedgehog tumbled around on the ground, trying to catch Max, but he just couldn't seem to do it. Suddenly, Max heard a rustling in the bushes. He looked up to see a group of animals peeking out. There were rabbits, squirrels, birds, and even a little mouse. They had been watching Max and the hedgehog play, and they looked amused. What are you guys doing here? Asked Max. We were just watching you play, said one of the rabbits. It looked like so much fun. We wanted to join in. Max grinned. Of course you can join in. The more the merrier. And so Max, the hedgehog, and all the other animals spent the rest of the evening playing together. They climbed trees, chased each other around, and laughed and giggled until the sun went down. Max realized that sometimes all it takes to make friends is a little bit of fun and laughter. From that day on, Max was never lonely again. He had a whole group of friends to play with, and he was grateful for each and every one of them. He and the hedgehog remained close friends, and Max always remembered the lesson the hedgehog had taught him that sometimes the best way to make friends is to just be yourself and let people come to you. <laughs>